Way. We're going to go to the first half. This was a wild the game all the way through. As you know, we'll start here on a beautiful day. 76,000 fans in the stadium here for Michigan and Michigan State. The first two series of this game didn't provide a whole lot, but Nick on Michigan State second series, Bill Burke started loading up. Well, you know, it was our plan in the game to get the ball to Plexico Burris down the field. Uh, we hit him on a couple out routes. We hit him on post corners. We hit him on nines. Uh, so these were all big plays in the game. They had a difficult time covering them. Uh, they have a great zone blitz package, but you play three deep with it most of the time. Now, Paul has his first miss of the season. Uh, he didn't hit this one real well, but uh, Paul's an outstanding kicker, and you can't make them all. All right, now the Spartans come back. They didn't quite get it, still no score. And here again, Michigan State's on the attack through the air. Well, this is probably one of the most underestimated parts of our team is the play of our tight ends in terms of receiving and blocking. But this is a big one here, the flea flicker. People say, where'd you get that play? We have a certain amount of trick plays that we always work on and this is one of them and uh, Morris Watts did an outstanding job of picking the exactly the right time to call it. You tend to use these early in the game rather than late in the game because you used to play like this against them a couple years ago. Well, I, I think it's best to take shots in a game when you have decent field position and the down the distances is, is right to do it. So uh, that's probably something we didn't do enough of early in the year, but uh, did a good job of yesterday. Okay, and then T.J. Ducka cleans it up and Michigan State's on the board, 7-0 first quarter. Well, T.J.'s done a good job for us in short yardage. He had a couple key runs yesterday uh, trying to get over a sprained ankle and hopefully he'll get better this week. Okay, near the end of the first quarter, Michigan on the attack. Tom Brady starts to move. David Terrell had 10 catches. Here's one for 16 yards. Well, we, we felt a tremendous amount of respect for Terrell in the game. Um, they, they came out in three wideouts early, and then they stayed in regular because we put some pressure on them. Now, we were lucky on this one to get a sack because we were in man-to-man -man coverage here. This was really a reverse pass. We turned someone loose down the field. Um, but we made the sack. All right, then this Hayden Epstein, man, he kicked the snot out of that thing. This was a great field goal. It was 55 yards. I didn't even think they'd try it against the win, and he made it. It would have been good from 65. Drew Henson's in a quarterback. Now he goes to Terrell here in the second quarter, 21 yards. This is another third down conversion for them. Um, Good job. And they were on the move a bit, but then he gets a grounding call because your defense comes in there and Robert's right there to nail him. Well, you know, we got one of these two yesterday, and both of them were a little bit uh, questionable, but I think in this case, he really did throw the ball away to avoid the sack. Okay, Spartans get the ball back. Now let's watch Burke to Burris again, another huge 49-yarder here. Well, again, a big play, changes the field position. Uh, puts us in a position where we have the opportunity to score. Okay, and again, uh, we'll take a look here. Uh, is this Paul Edinger? Yeah, 39 yards, and Michigan State goes up. He hit this one. Well, it was a, it was a good field goal. Uh, Paul missed two yesterday. The first two he missed all year, but he made that one, and that was an important one. Now, you don't like to give up big plays, and here's the big play that Michigan had here. Got him right back in the game. Well, this is a third down situation. We actually have both these guys doubled, if you can believe it, but the guy runs right through the double. Uh, Knight's got good speed. Uh, Newsom probably should have just tried to tackle him here. He was out of phase on the guy, which means you shouldn't go for the ball. Uh, you got to play the receiver and just get him on the ground and give us another opportunity to play. But I thought this was one of the biggest parts of the game where it comes to being competitive. That when we gave up a big play score on third down, our offense comes right back. Ivy McCoy makes a nice catch there. And we answer the bell and kick a field goal to get back to 13 to 10 before the half, which I think was a really, really important uh, juncture in the game for us psychologically. 13 to 10, you go off with a lead at halftime. The Spartans have been so long since they've been behind, as you suggest, at least you go into the halftime with some momentum to get ready for the next 30 minutes. Well, I think that's the biggest difference in this team and our teams in the past is the way this team competes in a game. And that what I just talked about was a great example of that. We give up a big play, uh, which r really can take the air right out of your balloon, and then bounce right back and put a drive together offensively and put points on the board, which lifts you back up and keeps you moving in the game. Did you think Henson would start the third quarter, or was that of no issue who they played at all? Well, I, I wasn't really concerned about it. I, most of the time, they put him in, and then they come back with Brady to start, and then sometimes they put Henson back in. So I didn't know how they were going to manage the situation. It really didn't make a lot of difference to us. I don't think there's a big change. I think Henson's a little better runner, uh, but Brady does a great job in the pocket throwing the football. All right, welcome back. Michigan would get the ball to start the second half. The Wolverines went three and out. That brings Michigan State back on the attack, and you're throwing right away. Nick Burke, who had 400 yards on the day, he's going to hit on this first play, Plex Burris. Those two were just 
tremendous all day long. Well, Michigan got the ball first, and I thought it was really important for us to go out in the second half and reestablish the tempo of the game. And defense did an outstanding job of that because they returned the ball to the 40-yard line, and then we go three plays and out and get it back here and uh, go right back and hit a big play to flex. And uh, even though Bill gets sacked here, you know, we, we, we end up with another field goal attempt. And if there's one thing offensively that we would really like to do better in the game is uh, all these field goal attempts when we get the ball down and near the red area are times when we need to do a little bit better job of scoring touchdowns. Now, we scored a lot of touchdowns yesterday, but um, here we get a sack on uh, on Henson. Uh, they ran four wide outs in late. We blitzed. and. Uh, that put them in a negative down and distance situation. 924 to go in the third. Burke back to pass this to Burris for 17. Well, they actually put David Terrell in now to cover him to try to get a better size match on him, but uh, we, we hit the out route. And Clemens had two runs for nine and seven. On a day with not a lot of rushing, there's two back to back there. You know, we run, ran the ball for almost 100 yards in the game, and our offensive line did a good job in pass protection and offering that mix. Outstanding catch here by Gary. It was a great adjustment to the ball uh, relative to the coverage, and uh, he displayed the ball better than the, than the defender does here. All right, here's the replay on it, and this touchdown makes it 20 to 10 now. Boy, the crowd went ball just ballistic there. Okay, well, and I, I think this was uh, this was a big, you know, again the sack puts them in a negative down and distance situation. Uh, allows us to play what we want on defense because it's long yardage. And here's the uh, turnover of the day. Right, and this this was big because this this set up us getting up by 17 points in the game. Now, of course, if you talk to Eric Morris, he'll 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 blame Ronaldo for not blocking the guy better so he could score a touchdown there. But. <laughs> and then Burke to Burris here again. Was this a blown coverage here? Uh, yeah, I think so because they have two guys playing in the flat, nobody playing in the deep part of the field, and I think it probably was a bust based on the motion. Lavelle Richardson coming in motion, they probably did, didn't adjust properly. Okay, now it's a 17-point game. Tom Brady back in fourth quarter. He goes to Aaron Shea here, 35. 35. Well, we were playing man-to-man, -man and it was a, a bunch formation. Um, very difficult sometimes to play man-to-man. -man. Not a good deal for us to put our players into there because Josh got picked, uh, couldn't get out to cover Shea. Then they run it in, um, which is our first giving up our first rushing touchdown of the year. In the sixth game, the first rushing touchdown, 27-17, but you don't sit on it. Bert Scott, 35 more yards. Well, I think this was critical in the game, too. I think our offense did a great job of, of coming back in the game every time we needed them to. Uh, and this was an example. They go 27-17. We come right back and answer uh, with a touchdown to get us ahead in the game. Uh, again, by 17 points, 34-17. to 17. That's Duan Moss. Okay, so he runs it in there, 34-17. Great run. Crowd loves it again. But there's still 12 minutes to go. Michigan would not just go away. Brady tonight here, 26 yards. Well, I think Michigan has outstanding receivers and an ability to throw the football. That's one of their strengths. And uh, we got tired in this juncture in the game. We played three series of what amounted almost to two minute. Here Terrell runs a double pattern on Cedric Henry. Uh, should have stayed outside technique on the guy, but he bit inside and got beat for a score. 34-24, Michigan gets it back. Brady to Walker, 37 more yards. Well, here we're, we're playing the zone, and you don't want to give up big plays in a two-minute situation, and that was the tough one in that drive because this turns out to be a 96-yard drive. Here we're playing man-to-man. -man. Um, we don't get to the guy that catches the screen, and they, 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 they go in to score. Okay, so now it's 34 to 31, but Plex is like Johnny on the spot again. And that pretty much ended the game right there on the onside kick. Well, it was very important to get that onside kick, but it was even more important for us to finish the game on offense here uh, with a three point game. You don't want to give the ball back to Michigan, especially with any kind of field position with a guy that just kicked a 55 yard field goal. Uh, so this was a great catch by Plex. Great job of getting his feet down uh, to give us the first down we needed to, to take the air out of it and milk, uh, and milk the clock. So